क्वेश्चन टेक्सोनोमी इज एन ओल्ड साइंस अमंग ऑलमोस्ट ऑल साइंसेस व्हिच डेवलप्ड विद सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ ह्यूमंस टेक्सोनोमी इज अ साइंस दैट इंक्लूड्स आइडेंटिफिकेशन नॉमेनक्लेचर एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ग्रीक मीनिंग ऑफ टेक्सोनोमी इज रेंडरिंग इन ऑर्डर एंड सिस्टमेटिक टू पुट टुगेदर टेक्सोनोमी वाज नॉट invented in a laboratory by any scientist inventor or in any school by scholars or by any philosopher in particular country or geographical area rather it is everywhere and as old as civilization taxonomy is science of disciplined and civilized persons which needs enthusiasm passion sensibility unplumbed knowledge and endurance taxonomy is not a branch of biological science but it is a complete science in itself which comprise all branches of biology such as morphology reproductive biology phenology embryology biochemistry ecology cytology genetics as well as other branches of science like geology geography mathematics statistics information technology etc taxonomy in relation to plants is called plant taxonomy which gives emphasis on identification and naming of plants the identification correct naming and classifying according to any accepted system is called systematics some botanist assume that taxonomy and systematics are interchangeable words according to solberg 1966 taxonomy includes classification and nomenclature but leans heavily on systematics for its concepts as per lamb 1959 and turrell 1964 taxonomy and systematics are synonymous words the objectives of plant taxonomy are to gather knowledge of plants of earth and their systematic grouping it is not possible to gather knowledge without arranging them in systematic way due to the large size of flora of earth the first aim requires us to make a complete inventory of all the plants of an area and subsequently all parts of the globe the collection and preparation of herbarium for further study is first step in taxonomy The second step is identification which is accomplished by description making illustrations and formation of identification keys the primary aim of taxonomy is to identify all kinds of plants and the secondary aim is to arrange according to accepted system of classification identification involves the determination of taxon plural of taxa as being similar or identically equal to a known taxon this identification implies assigning a plant to a particular taxonomic group and ultimately to the species this may be achieved either by the help of available literature like flora monographs and herbaria in the case in the case when all possibilities to matching a plant to any identified and known plants are failed it becomes a new species classification is the arrangement of plants in taxonomic groups division class order family genus and species according to their observed similarities it is the production of a logical system of categories each containing any number of organisms the principles underlying any modern system of classification are based on the genetical relationship among them thus closely related groups are brought together classification may be based on natural characters natural classification or on any convenient artificial relationship or based on evolutionary relationship phylo genetic classification artificial relationship convenient that is artificial classification classification or based on evolutionary relationship that is phylogenetic classification thank you